Hello friends and welcome to Hello Spirit Yoga. Welcome to this complete beginner yoga class. If you're new to yoga or just fancy a gentle and slow stretch, then this is the class for you. Please don't worry about what you look like in any position. The most important thing is that you feel the stretch. This is a great class to do to start to build on the foundations of your yoga practice. So if you're ready, grab your mat and grab your water and let's get to it. All right, guys, we're gonna start today just seated in easy pose. So just come into a comfortable cross-legged position, however you like, root down through the sit bones, extend nice and tall through the spine, drawing the chin just slightly to the chest so it allows you to raise up through the crown of your head and then rest the hands on the knees. Maybe roll the shoulders away from the ears, just settling into this nice space that you've created. Wonderful. Let's begin by slowly closing the eyes and then gently placing one hand over the chest and the other just on the tummy. Let us start today's practice by connecting to the natural rhythm of the breath. Gently feeling the heart in your chest. Feeling the chest rise and fall with each breath that you take. Just settling into this space. Beautiful. Remembering to stay tall with the spine. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Now take this moment to set an intention for today's practice. This could be anything personal to you. It could be a positive phrase, a word, maybe a goal that you're trying to reach towards. For example, I have the intention to have a calmer demeanor and peace within me during this yoga practice and therefore afterwards as well. Whatever your practice or your, sorry, your intention is, just hold it in your mind. Keeping it to yourself. Beautiful. Bringing the attention back to the breath. Gently inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Wonderful. Now slowly start to open the eyes, keeping a nice soft gaze in front of you. Then gently release the hands onto your knees. Wonderful. Let's start with a side neck stretch. So your right hand is just going to come and cover the left ear. Once you've got a nice placement, start to draw your right ear to your right shoulder. So just feeling a gentle stretch in the neck area. And don't be too harsh with yourself here, just nice and gentle. 
stay with the breath and stay nice and tall with the spine here so we're not leaning too far forward or maybe leaning a bit more to the right so just trying to stay nice and central with the spine beautiful if you want to intensify the stretch ever so slightly you could begin to walk the left fingertips away from your body and that way you should start to feel it go down past into the shoulder a little and maybe down into the arm wonderful one last breath in and exhale just releasing the ear returning to center let's start by doing this to the other side so now the left hand places over that right ear begin to draw the head down an option to walk those fingertips away from the body just enjoying this nice gentle stretch in the neck down into the shoulders wonderful way to maybe wake up the body or even if you've had a nice long and stressful day it's a great way just to relieve any tension any soreness maybe feeling in the neck area around your head wonderful last breath in and exhale slowly release your palm returning the head to center wonderful now we're going to do our seated spinal twist. So take this to your own level, however far you want to twist. We are going to be twisting from the belly, so making sure that the sit bones stay grounded. You're going to bring the left hand, see if you can place it just behind the body, and then bring the right hand over to your left knee. Start to look over towards the left. So just feeling that gentle twist. If you want, you can take it further by bringing your gaze over that left shoulder. Remembering to stay up nice and tall, elongating through the spine so we're not slumping into our lumbar spine, the base of our spine. Beautiful. And then just breathing here, always remembering to breathe during our yoga practice. Connecting our bodies to our breath. Beautiful. Breathing in. And as you exhale, slowly return to center. Let's take it to the other side. So right hand comes behind your back or behind your bum. And then left hand comes over to the right knee. Draw your gaze over towards the right or see if you can turn and gaze your direction over that right shoulder, looking towards the back of the mat. Feeling that nice gentle twist in the spine. Sit bones stay grounded. Wonderful. Breathing in and exhale slowly start to untwist the body coming back to center wonderful now drop the shoulders away from the ears as we inhale reach the arms up to the sky bring the hands together into prayer and then slowly start to lower them to the chest great one more time inhale reach up to the sky as we exhale this time you're going to bring the right hand down to the mat and then left arm extends up and over feeling a deeper stretch into the side body now as you make this stretch see if you can open the shoulders and turn your gaze upwards so we're almost stacking the shoulders we want them to be square onto the front of the mat um, staying up onto the palm or maybe you can come down to the elbow but don't worry if you can't, just do your best. Find where is nice and comfortable for you, just to feel that nice stretch lengthening through the left-hand side of the body. Wonderful. Breathe in, and as you exhale, maybe reach those fingertips a little bit further. Wonderful. Inhale last time, 
and exhale, start to slowly come back to center. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, left hand comes and grounds the mat. Right, finger to, uh, right fingertips reach up and over the head. Feeling the stretch in the right side of the body now. See if you can turn your gaze to look up just encouraging that shoulder to open. If that's a bit too challenging, then you can keep your gaze forward. But if you can, see if you can look up to the sky. Beautiful. With each breath, encouraging beautiful oxygen to flow into any areas of soreness, maybe any areas of tension. Wonderful. Last breath in, and exhale, returning back to center, lovely. We're just going to transition now onto our hands and knees. So this is our tabletop position. And just do a quick check of your posture. So make sure that the hips are directly over the knees and your wrists are underneath the shoulder blades. We're going to start with our cat cow, which is a lovely gentle back bend for the spine. So as you breathe in, drop the belly down to the mat, arch the spine, see if you can turn your gaze upwards. And then as you exhale, push into the mat with the palms, separating the shoulder blades, pushing the spine up to the sky, bringing the chin towards the chest. Lovely. Inhale as you drop the belly, looking up to the sky. Exhale, push into the palms, chin towards the chest. Lovely. Drop the belly, arch the spine, look up. And then roll the spine out in the opposite direction, drawing the chin towards the chest. Lovely. And then relaxing the spine, so coming into our neutral spine. We're going to take our bird dog position or 50-50 plank. So first of all, see if you can extend the left leg up pointing it away from you, and then squaring off those hips. So trying your best to keep the hips level so you're not opening on one side or dipping down too low. Really think about your tummy being on top of a really straight table. Beautiful. Then we're going to bring our right arm up into 50-50 plank or bird dog position. Wonderful. Creating this beautiful line from the tips of the fingers all the way to the tips of the toes. Beautiful. Holding here, finding that center, engaging the core. Lovely. And then sending the left toes now over the bottom leg. So we're gonna, oh, so we're gonna bring that, those toes down to the ground. And then the right arm is going to swing down and up, just taking a gentle twist and then bringing the hand down onto your hip. See if you can open that shoulder and look, turn your gaze towards those left toes. So the right corner of your mat. Beautiful. Holding here. And then reach your right hand up to the sky and bring it all the way back down. Extend the left leg up and then see if you can swing it to the side. So coming, so you should start to feel a little deeper stretch now in the left inner groin. Wonderful. If you can't reach that far, don't worry, just do your best. So as long as you start to feel the stretch there, that's the most important thing. So either option to stay here or see if you can push back with the hands coming down with the hips, almost like we're extending into a wide sort of child's pose here. So encouraging the hips to come down and then slowly start to lower the forehead down to the mat. Beautiful. Stay with the breath here, just feeling that stretch in the left inner thigh, 
straightened into the left hamstring as well, keeping a point in those toes. Beautiful. Slowly now, start to roll on up onto the knee and then just slide the foot back, coming back into tabletop position. Let's take a quick child's pose. So push the hips back and then reach the arms out in front. Let the forehead come down to the mat. Don't worry if it can't reach, just do your best. So just letting it hover, feeling a nice gentle opening in the shoulders letting the hips sink close to the heels and don't worry as well if the hips are quite far away from the heels you might even just be up here you might be here wherever you are just notice how your body feels when you release into this position with dedicated time and practice and patience you'll find that with yoga your body will start to release but it doesn't happen overnight you have to keep at it. Beautiful. Breathing in. And then exhale, coming back up into tabletop. Let's take it to the other side. So this time, the right leg is going to extend out, pointing the toes towards the end of your mat. Make sure to level off those hips. Engage the core. Beautiful. Then the left hand is going to reach up in front of you, creating that beautiful line from the tips of the fingers to the tips of your toes. So really strong with the core here, finding your balance, beautiful. And we're gonna send those toes to the left corner of the mat so they cross over that uh, bottom leg. And then send the left arm up to the sky into a gentle twist. You can keep the gaze down here or look up towards the fingertips. Beautiful. And then bringing the hand down onto your hip, look over towards those pointed toes, slightly opening up the shoulder here. Lovely. Twisting from the belly. Very nice. Stay with the breath, remembering to always breathe. And then reach the arm back up, plant it back down onto the mat. Now extending the leg up and taking it to the other side. So seeing how far to the side you can reach that leg, doesn't matter if it can't reach all the way to the middle of your mat. The eventual aim is to get it in line with your hips. So really pushing that leg out. And then start to release the hips down in a child's pose formation. And then letting the chest and the forehead sink down towards the mat. Beautiful. Feeling that nice release in the right inner thigh now into the right hamstring. Beautiful. Just staying here for a couple of breaths. Start to notice how your body feels in this position. Remember, it doesn't matter what you look like, just matters how your body feels when you release into poses. Beautiful. One last deep breath in. And exhale, start to roll on up. And then slide the foot back, bringing your knees together. And let's release back into child's pose. So letting the hips sink down towards the heels and then walk the hands maybe slightly forward. Bring the forehead down towards the mat. Beautiful. Just stay here for a couple of breaths. Really enjoy this position. Lengthening through the spine. Opening the shoulders. Wonderful.
Now on your next inhale, we're going to slowly roll on up into tabletop position. And then tucking the toes, we're going to prepare for our first downward dog. So as we do this, I really want you to make sure that the palms are grounded and spread those fingers nice and wide because that will give you a better grip and also a slightly better balance. Make sure that the toes are tucked under and then pushing into the palms, start to send those hips up to the sky and keep a micro bend here in those knees. Don't worry about stretching out those hamstrings yet. Let's focus on the, sp on the spine. So you want to activate those shoulders, so not letting them droop down so that you have a curved spine. You want to aim for it to be as straight as you can. Wonderful. Then think about wrapping those triceps under. Biceps frame the ears. And think about elongating all the way to the tailbone, sending it up towards the sky. Sternum falls towards the mat. Lovely. And then just finding your breath here. Stay strong with the arms. Keeping an even weight in the hands and in the feet. Lovely. Breathe in. And breathe out. Great. Let's roll through the spine now, coming into plank position. So shifting the weight over onto those hands, start to lengthen through the spine, tucking the tummy in and then lower the knees down to the mat. We're going to take our knees, chest, chin. So this is the beginner's variation of a Chaturanga Dandasana. So make sure that the elbows are pointing towards the back of the mat. Then begin to lower the chest down all the way, followed by the chin, and then slide the tummy forward. So there's a lot of strength within the arms as you come down with the body. And after a couple of practices, you'll find that the muscles will begin to react to that and come down really nicely. Once you find that the tummy is on the, uh, is on the mat, just bring the hands out slightly to frame the chest. And begin to push up, coming into baby cobra. So squeeze the shoulders together bringing them away from the ears, just a gentle arch in that spine, breathing in and then exhale, start to lower the body back down. Beautiful. Press into the palms and push yourself up into tabletop. Let's tuck our toes to get back into that downward dog. So remember to spread the fingers wide, push into the palms and send the hips up. Beautiful. Think about elongating through to that tailbone, remembering to activate those shoulders. Wonderful. Find your breath here. Lovely. Now we're going to see if we can bring the right knee towards the chest. You're going to pick the right toes up, knee comes towards the chest, and then you're going to step between those two hands. If you can't step immediately, um, you can just work on pulling that foot through. So don't worry, everybody starts somewhere. And then begin to lower that back knee, untuck the toes, and with control, Reach your body up to the sky, extending the arms above your head and start to sink a little low with the hips. Then bringing the hands down onto the knee for a bit of support. Beautiful. You should start to feel the stretch in this right, uh, sorry, in the left psoas muscle here. So it's a muscle that goes right along the front of that hip. Sink a little low with the hips. Remember to uh, come up nice and tall with the spine opening the chest, draw those shoulders away from the ears. Lovely. Release the hands now, either side of your front foot, and then just slide that foot back, coming back into tabletop, 
push back into child's pose. Forehead sinks down towards the mat. Inhale and exhale. Great. Coming up into tabletop position. Hands are grounded, fingers spread wide. Let's tuck those toes. Send the hips up into downward dog. Great. Keeping a bend in those knees if you're feeling restriction in the hamstrings or if you're feeling a bit more loose, then please go ahead and start to release those heels down to the mat. So really feeling that stretch now through the hamstrings. Don't worry if that's not where you are today, just keep a nice bend in those knees. Lovely. Remembering to wrap those triceps under, biceps frame the ears, stay with the breath. Breathing in, and breathing out. Wonderful. Now the left knee is good. We're going to pick. Sorry, we're going to pick up the left toes, and bring the left knee towards the chest, shifting our weight onto the arms, and then step between those hands, coming into high lunge. Then drop the back knee, untuck the toes, lift your arms up to the sky. Sink a little lower with the hips into low lunge. Bring the hands down on top of that knee. Start to push up and away from it. So you're encouraging your chest to open here. And remembering to draw the shoulders down away from the ears. Starting to feel that nice stretch in the right psoas muscle now. Beautiful. Breathing in and breathing out. Lovely. Bring the hands down to the mat to frame the foot. Palms are grounded. And then slide that foot back, coming into tabletop. Push back down into child's pose. Rest the forehead towards the mat, letting the hips sink closer towards the heels. Wonderful. Breathing in and breathing out. Roll through the spine back into tabletop. Palms are grounded as you tuck the toes and send the hips up into downward dog. Option to keep the knees bent or release those heels down. Beautiful. Let's do our knees, chest, chin again. Just gonna do it a little bit faster. So we're going to roll through the spine into plank position. Drop the knees down. Elbows pointing towards the back of the mat as you lower the chest down, lower the chin, slide the tummy forward, hands come to frame the chest, and then reach up into baby cobra. Draw the shoulders away from the ears. And as you exhale, come down to the mat, press yourself up into tabletop. Let's tuck those toes and send the hips up into downward facing dog. Beautiful. We're now going to look towards the front of our mat, and then bending the knees if they're not already, start to slowly walk your feet towards your hands. Take as many steps as you need here. As you come forward, you can start to lift the body, keeping a bend in both knees, and then grab the opposite elbows with your arms and release the upper body down, coming into our rag doll. So just let the head, the shoulders, the neck be really heavy here. You might be able to nod up and down, maybe wave side to side. Just do what feels good here. Beautiful. And then releasing the hands down, we're going to halfway lift. So as you inhale, start to extend through the legs, sliding the fingertips up to the shins. So elongating through that spine, so creating that nice flat line. Beautiful. Exhale, bend the knees and slowly start to roll up into your standing mountain. 
Release the shoulders away from the ears, palms facing towards the front of the mat. Feel that nice grounding through all four corners of the feet. Beautiful. Maybe close your eyes here, helping you to go inwards and find that strength from within. Tucking the tailbone under, lengthening through the spine. Wonderful. As we inhale, reach the arms up to the sky, bringing them together into prayer, and then exhale, slowly start to lower the palms towards your chest. Inhale again, reach the arms up to the sky, and as you exhale, start to dive forward with the body, bringing the arms out to your side, coming into forward fold. Now you can fold from the hips here and start to bend the knees, or if the flexibility allows in your hamstrings, you can keep the legs straight. So do what feels good for you when you fold from the hips here. The most important thing is that we don't fold from that lumbar spine, so we're not curving through the bottom of our backs. Really want to think about collapsing right from our hips, so nice and straight. Beautiful. Maybe grab the backs of the knees. Maybe you can grab the ankles or you might be able to reach your toes. Wherever you are, bring your attention back to the breath, allowing yourself to go a little bit deeper with each exhale. Beautiful, encouraging blood flow and oxygen to, to go towards the brain. Lovely. On your next inhale, reach back up into halfway lengthen, sliding the fingertips up onto the shins. Exhale, bend the knees and coming down onto the mat. So just transitioning however you like, meeting me on your bums, a little bit towards the front of your mat. Great. Inhale, start to reach forward with the arms. And as you exhale, slowly lower the body down using the strength of your core to lower the back one vertebra at a time until you finally come onto your backs and then hug the knees into the chest, making a little ball shape with the body and maybe start to rock side to side just massaging that lumbar spine. Beautiful. If you're rocking, just finding some stillness now. And then start to release one leg down and then the other. Coming into our final pose, our Shavasana. So releasing the shoulders, so maybe just giving them a bit of an untuck. Release the knees feet and then let the palms face up towards the sky start to close the eyes and completely relax into our shavasana so allowing yourself to become heavier and heavier with each breath Gifting your beautiful body just this moment of stillness, of relaxation and peace. Releasing any tension in the brow, in the jaw. And let the tongue lay softly in your mouth. With each exhale, releasing deeper 
and deeper into the ground beneath you. And now you are more than welcome to continue laying in Shavasana or if you'd like to follow along with me just start to deepen the breath start to bring some movement back to your fingers maybe wiggle the toes just signaling to our body it's time to get up from this peaceful stillness. Slowly reach the arms up above your head. Give yourself a beautiful stretch here. And then bring the knees into the chest. And then roll over to one side coming into your fetal position and then start to slowly push yourself up and then come and meet me in our easy pose as we started with the class. Wonderful. Release the hands onto the knees, extend tall through the spine, release the shoulders away from the ears. Wonderful. As you breathe in, start to reach the arms up to the sky and exhale slowly, bring them together in prayer, lower to the heart center. Inhale, reach up to the sky and exhale, lowering the hands together in prayer to your chest. Bow down and thank yourself setting aside this time for your mind and your body. I hope you've enjoyed it and thank you so much for spending this time with me on the mat today. I wish you the best for your day and through to the rest of your week. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching today guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more yoga flows and guided meditations. I hope to see you on the mat soon. Bye for now.